in high school, 18-year-old. Uh, えっと、日本では、え、授業が朝から始まって、え、大体、え、高校では、え、4時半から6時ぐらいが練習時間になります。So with the normal school day, uh school starts at 8 o'clock. Um and rehearsal doesn't start until about 4:30 and it goes to about 6:30. で、全員で一緒に練習ができるのは えっと、月曜日から金曜日はだいたい um, so with the limited amount of time, we want to finish and develop a piece. Um, so today we'll be showing you the basic training that we focus on um, to speed up the rehearsal process. このキソトレーニングがかなりレベルが上がれば、曲の仕上がりがかなり早くなってきます。And um, as the students get more custom and uh, advanced with the basic training, it speeds up the rehearsal process of the movies. Um, after school, since this is a club activity, uh, students arrive to the club at around 5 o'clock, and they do this basic training for about 30 minutes. で、その合奏がスタートするまでに各時が終わらしておくことっていうのが色々決まっていまして、各楽器で少し紹介させてください。あ、もう少しをね、あ、what ポブ感、あ、ヘッドジョイン。ピッチをアーのピッチをえ、きちっと取れるようなポジションを確認してえ、それぞれここに集まってもいいですか。We uh, want to make sure that the students are able to maintain a good A on the head joint by adjusting the uh, positioning of the head joint. And so they make sure they do that.
が全員まずできるようにして毎日、えー、確認をするということを大事にしています。Uh, So every day,、uh, just on the read, B flat,、uh, B, C, back to B flat, and make sure that, making sure that the read is in the correct、uh, condition. And it's the same with the、uh, saxophones、um, with the mouthpiece and the neck. Um, by maker of the instrument, the, the pitch of the neck and the mouthpiece differs a little. Alto sax is A, a flat.、Um, alto sax is checked to A flat. And then tenor sax is checked to. A, and then、uh, Barry Sachs checks the E flat.、Yeah, yes. oh, e flat. E flat. <laughs>
So the chocolate starts with um, just the mouthpiece blowing air through, making sure that there's a steady and strong airflow going through, and then they'll start doing the buzzing. The sound comes out, and 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 the sound comes out, Um, they put their hand in front of the mouthpiece so that they understand that air is still going through and making sure that there's a steady and strong airflow going through. Yes. Uh, so then we'll go into the uh, ensemble chamber. Yes. Now we'll go into the uh, ensemble chamber. <coughs> Uh, making sure to dis- 
student and the individual understand what they need to do to uh, create the sound as a whole and that being the unique voice. This is the
すごくつながっていっていくというふうに感じています。まずは声で音程、ハーモニーをとっていく。First, we will、uh, check the harmony and the pitch by singing. <笑>で次に、えー、とハーモニーを、えー、この
楽曲に近づけていくというためにハーモニーを組んだ状況でリズムのトレーニングをしていきます。So, このトレーニングの中では、えー、まずサウンド感、えー、ハーモニー感そしてリズム感というものを共通させるということが、えー、大事になってきています。そのリズムの部分を、えー、今からトレーニングをしていきます。So now, uh, right now,
中で、えー、主催者のユニゾーのトレーニングだけで終わることもあります。<笑>
Um, for this exercise, we focus on uh, make, uh, matching the, the breathing as well as matching to the beat on the metronome. Ito, tinatanong ko sa tempo don don agete hayai passage yo dekiru yo ni shite itari sono toki no yatte iru kyoku ni awaseta tempo de renshu shimasu um uh, after that we will uh, uh, add rhythmic aspects to this exercise and then uh, sometimes match to the tempo of the piece that we are working on zeki ni rhythm renshu o shimasu uh next we'll do some rhythm uh, rhythm exercise uh, this rhythm exercise is to make sure that uh, students are able to accurately uh, uh, play the rhythm that shows up on their music. Uh, first, we'll begin with doing uh, 60 notes for four counts and then switching on to the rhythm on the beat. Next, we will do this one. Steady 16 uh, note pulse while the other uh, checks for rhythm uh, against the 16 notes. Uh, please make sure that the 16, uh, the rhythm pulse into the 16 note. Some uh, individual 
四分音符から八分音符、三連符、十六分音符を一回一回ってする練習です。This is an exercise、uh, going from、um, eight notes to triplets to sixteen notes、uh, by division. それぞれ八拍ずつやっています。Uh, everyone will do eight beats before switching. Section leader, but she also played harp.、Uh, not because she's a harpist, but because someone needed to do it. She did a wonderful <laughs> job. Your great interpreter, Keito Hasegawa, is actually not exactly from Japan. He teaches at、uh, I teach over in Castro Valley,、uh, in Creekside. <laughs> Thank you. 
えっと、年齢にもよるんですけれども、初心者に何もまだ楽器を経験してない子は、鼻が出会ったりとか、唇の厚さであったり、息の強さであったりというのを持ってますので、こちらの方で少し合う楽器を選ぶこともあり。With uh, 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 complete beginners, um, we check their uh, their facial surface, their lips, or their uh, breath control that they've already developed as um, as a normal developing child, um, and then we often uh, guide them to the correct instrument. Um, and in the case where uh, students aren't performing well on their current instrument or not improving as much, uh, we do let them, uh, uh, we offer them an uh, instrument change. <coughs> Um, we believe that the student's first choice instrument uh, first choice instrument um, should be the first instrument that they play and then um, fi also finding that instrument where the student excels at um, regardless of whether it's their first choice or not is also very important. Sir, how Sorry. do you train your students to improve? Like, is it dictated or is it from other people? We don't actually uh, take time to actually teach, teach that specific moving during their performing. Um, it's something they develop um, on their own or uh, seeing professionals um, I think I want to clarify something is extremely important. Section leaders, there are people sort of of equal status. There's the coach, the director, but the section leaders run about half the ensemble. They do much of the ensemble's organization. This is a club, a non-credit elective club that meets after school, and also the director's a volunteer. He's a math teacher at the school. He read this in the program, he understands this. So it's more like a drama club, a baseball team. They can do pretty much anything they want. But the section leaders have great, not power, great authority and respect. And then their underlings follow accordingly. So a lot of what you see is developed by the students, but by tradition also throughout the country. So I'm sorry. Uh, yes, yes. 
Do the students audition to participate in this ensemble? Is there an audition? Uh, uh, no, not to join the club. There is no audition. Uh, to answer that also, <laughs> the club supports itself. It recruits students. So the friends pull in. Mean, band members pull in other students, and they're sort of responsible for training them. So the band is created by itself from scratch. And also kind of on an annual basis, because it's a new club each year. Uh, so it, this is the great lesson for for Americans to understand. Uh, students can do so much more, and they can take, give them charge of your band and you'll see what they do in a week. Uh, they can have much more ability and guidance and buy-in. So, we can barely hear you in the corner. Yeah, maybe close the, come on in and close the door. Okay, I skipped over someone over here with a hand up. Oh, sir. Uh, hi, uh, first of all, thank you for your comments. <coughs> Uh, second, um, do these students all take private lessons, and how often are they expected to practice outside of school? Um, <laughs> <laughs> how many students are taking private lessons? For their, their teachers are all in the band. The senpai teach the kohai. The advanced students teach. This is, it's a... It's a hom homogenous sort of concept. You will play and do everything like me. In turn, I will see after you. I'll follow you around, make sure you do your homework, keep your nose clean. But it's a, you know, it's a, it's a Johnny One Note system, and everyone ends up playing a lot. It works. Just to add on to that, they do most of their practice in the rehearsal, not at home. Everything at everything at school. Yeah. Leave the horns at school, sir. Um, I'm just wondering, um, do you have your percussion in the middle? Yeah, this is because the room uh, the room size is a little different. Yeah, usually we put the percussion a little further uh, on one side. More and sweeping around. Yeah. Um, and it's, and they're it's, just drifting far because of the room. Um, and it's also to make sure that uh, the percussion stay as one section rather than splitting the timpani up um, and putting them on the other side of the band to make sure that the percussion is one section as a whole. Ma'am. Thank you. First of all, students, thank you. It was beautiful. Um, my question is, how many students tend to join uh, as seventh graders? And what is the retention level in the club through 12th grade? Um, every year we get about 20 new students. Um, and we get a little bit of um, um, leaving um, as the grades progress, but not too much. All, all, the, all clubs in the school, the start of the year, have a recruitment period. And there's a kind of a training initiation period of, of maybe a month or so. And after that, you're in it for three years. Uh, it's, it's a buy-in thing, and the, the band will take as many players as it needs, and no more. Um, she's asking how much, how many hours of homework they have outside um, for school every day. え、実際に学校から出る宿題というのは、ま、それぞれグレードによってかなり違うんですが、自分でかなり勉強するので、大体3時間ぐらいですね。よ。そう。あ、3時間。あ、the amount of homework by grade level differs, but students uh, often study on their own outside of school. Um, and this group tends to spend about three to four hours studying um, outside of music. 
And they're all uh, aiming to go into uh, universities and colleges. First, how, how much of what you do is unique to this group, and how much uh, is uh, trends that are happening throughout Japan? Are there other groups like this? Um, as you saw in the handouts with the DVDs um, produced by Bravo Music, um, it is something that it's a trend to almost every wind band in Japan. Uh, which path, you're talking about the way the concert laid last night, or no, just, just the training? The training. Yeah, this is okay, this is. Keep your hand up. This is another amazing thing in Japan. There is no band, educate, band director education pedagogy. They major as a general music teacher, as an instrumental music musician, or as a conductor. Uh, all of this is just a, it's a cosmology, a mythology that's shared throughout the country through copies of copies, uh, people clinicking and helping it. Like I said, Mr. Otake, his mentor from Saitama Sakai, they share voraciously. And so they've created a unity that, that you know, it's, it's quite remarkable. It's, you need to go over and see this and, to believe it. Yes? I just was wondering, who supplies the instruments? Do the parents all supply the instruments? Is there an inventory on the campus? Uh, there's a corporate sponsorship? I'm, I'm just... Oh. <laughs> So these are the students that have their own instruments, um, and the school does uh, own some of the instruments. Um, they do purchase uh, instruments for the school as well. And these are the students that are using uh, school-owned instruments. Uh, everyone playing the same type of instrument, it would depend on the severity of how demanding the director is. You do find this in some cases, but if you go to the Yamaha store uh, downtown Tokyo, they sell every brand of instrument. They sell the best. And the, really the thing is, is directors will compel students to get professionals which is to necessarily, necessarily trying to match. But you can, you can answer, does he expect students to play the same brand or type of instrument? うん。あ、えっと、クラリネットはクラリネットはクラリネットは、え、クラリネットは、え、クラリネットは、え、クラリネットは、え、クラリネットは、え、クラリネットは、え、クラリネットは、え、クラリネットは、え、クラリネットは
depending on the instrument and the part, uh, we sometimes do do uh, technic, uh, technique studies and techniques. Okay. Uh, they'll demonstrate one uh, technical exercise. <laughs> <laughs> As you get more proficient at it, you bump up the tempo faster and faster and faster. And uh, we have some coaches um, on individual instruments. Uh, uh, she's our uh, clarinet coach. <laughs> It's a little similar. Um, <laughs> um, Mr. Konishi has never seen it, and some of the students have, but um, it's not a direct um, interpretation of what, what wind dance are. Uh, but you listened to the concert last night, then you listened to this extended sound building exercise. The, the simple concept in Japan, you don't play anything until you develop the, the unison concept, and from unison comes everything else. Uh, but the, the senpai, the section leader, is responsible for sitting the section in a group and slowly working out all the technical passages. If they can't do it, they'll call in the director or, or a coach or something like this. But the students, again, have this responsibility of slowly mastering the intricacies of the part. Okay, another question? There's one. So on the warm up of the chorales, is all D flat or they go different keys? That's the problem. Um, we usually don't have the time um, time constraint, or we don't have the time to actually explore the other keys, so we usually stay in the key of B flat. Yeah. Yeah, just a balanced concept, but these exercises you can get are translated into, into 12 keys, that, depending on what's needed in the music, this sort of thing. Also, the harmony director is very valuable because of its, its variety of temperaments. You can go through and randomly play a chord in any piece in any song. So you need to talk to uh, Yamaha about that great instrument. Another question? Ma'am. Uh, I have a question. How young do the kids in Japan get their own music training? Is that some kind of period for students to start from? And do they get around? Yeah, that was real. <laughs> Um, for general music, they uh, for general music they have classes starting in the uh, elementary level, uh, first graders. Uh, I've been told repeatedly that general music is core curriculum, core curriculum through the ninth grade, and then in high school it's an elective. Uh, so the music clubs get their students able to sing, able to read basic music, that sort of thing. Very helpful. Um, 
So uh, please, we need to formally, actually formally close this uh, so you can go do what you need to do, but we will stay here. You can stay here. We can keep talking, but it's just on a friendly basis, but John will explain why.